Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do an exciting video. This is my first order from The Posh Olive, which is a vendor wax company by um, the woman named Margaret. Um, she is based in Arcadia, California, and she makes small batch vegan candles and bath and body products. ThePoshOlive.com, hashtag ThePoshOlive. I first heard about her from a um, YouTuber named Notorious Liz. Hey Liz, um, she's an inspiration to me. I love all of her vendor wax videos. So I knew that I wanted to place an order with a posh olive, but as soon as I like found out about her, she had a pre-order going on so she didn't have any time available. And then I was at work and I knew that she was gonna restock for a ready to ship. And I'm like, do I do it? Do I do it? Yes, I did it. So I ordered some stuff from her from the uh, ready to ship that she had last week. Got it already. Um, I believe it was last Thursday or Friday. Friday. And I shipped Saturday. It's here today, which is Thursday. So from California, it came pretty quickly. Now, I do believe that her wax is 100% soy. Super cute wax. I got some clamshells, some bags, a sampler. So let's first start with samples. So the first sample that I got is her Ocean Lotion, which is a magnesium oil infusion lotion in mango pineapple. Now it's in like a scent shot cup, but it smells really, really good. And I believe magnesium helps like relieve stress or like achy muscles or something. It's a very thin lotion, but it just massages right in. I mean, I don't feel any difference yet, but like I said, I don't know. I have to research about why magnesium's in lotions. I believe it's something like a healing, you know, with like achy muscles or something. So that is that. So I got a sample of that. I got two wax samples. This one is in Lemon Lavender. And it is really cute little star. Now that I put lotion on, watch, I won't be able to open up any of this stuff. There we go. And also, I believe the Posh Olive requires no cure time either. Cure time because of the way that she blends her wax, and it's supposed to be super strong right off the bat. So this is a little star, and it smells like lemons and lavender. Nothing too crazy, but it's extremely strong. I'm going to probably save this for the summertime or the spring when it's nice and ready for that time of year. So that was lemon lavender. And then we have a sample of pumpkin cupcake. And this guy is just too cute. If I can get it open. There we go. And he is a little gingerbread man. Now, to me, this smells very similar to pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works. It has that sweet, sugary pumpkin, a little bit of a bakery note in there, like a cake. It's really, really good, really yummy. I like that. And this is like good for one melt. So pop the little gingerbread in the warmer and watch him melt away. <laughs> so then I also got a fragrance splash in my bag. I'm not sure if this was just a goodie or what, because I did not order this, but it is in Snow Candy, which is um, a lush dupe for Snow Fairy. And it smells... So good, and it's funny, Lush actually just came out with fragrance or fragrance body spray and Snow Fairy, but yep, it smells just like Snow Fairy. Super, super cute. I don't love the smell of Snow Fairy, but I might give this to one of my friends who really does. So that is Snow Candy. Then we'll go on to the clamshells. Now she does not put a ugh, she does not put a pour date on her wax. But I believe that's because it doesn't have need any cure time. So what I do, just for my organization purposes, I put the month and the date that I got them. So I got them December 1st. So I put December 2017, a little label on them. So this one is in Cranberry Ginger Ale. If you can see, it's like a marbled effect wax. And let me see how it pops out. I haven't popped out her wax yet. I'm all like lotion-y, so it's going to be a little hard. Yeah, I'm all lotion-y, so I won't pop it out now, but it smells like cranberry ginger ale. I can get the ginger ale, the bubbly fizziness of the ginger ale, which, by the way, I don't like ginger ale to taste, but I like the smell. And I can get cranberry. It's a very, very tart cranberry, which I like. 
then we have lemon lime soda, which is also like a bubbly scent. And to me, it smells like the same ginger ale that she has in the cranberry ginger ale, but it has that bright lemon lime. Not like Pledge, though, like actual lemon lime, like Mountain Dew. This smells like Mountain Dew. It's awesome, and it's just like a greenish wax. Then we have Fluffy Towels, and I ordered this strictly because I love Fluffy Towels from um, Yankee Candle, and they just continued it. This does not smell like that. I don't know what this smells like. It has a weird note to it, and I don't... I don't like this at all. I'm going to let this cure just a little bit or maybe pop it in my warmer, see if it changes when it melts, but it has a weird, like, burnt scent to it. I don't know. Not burnt, like overly flowery or something. I don't like that. So that was the only one that I really don't like. Then we have churros, which is crisp fried dough with cinnamon sugar. And this one, I believe, has glitter on it yeah it has like pink glitter on there and this smells so good but it's extremely strong on the cinnamon like holy crap like there's no doubt that there is cinnamon in this if you don't like cinnamon i know some people don't like cinnamon but they like cinnamon sugar donut because it has more of like a bakeriness to it this is like straight up cinnamon bakery so if you don't like cinnamon you're not gonna like that oh yes this is the other one i don't like rain on my parade this is bright greenery and raindrops. Oh, it has like some disgusting smell to it. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like, I can't do it. I can't smell this anymore. It has something strange in it. I'm not sure what it is. It's like super sweet or something. I don't know. I don't like that. And I don't want to knock her wax because everything smells so good. I just... Ugh, I don't like that. Then we have Social Club, which is lemon cotton candy cake pops. And this one, I love. I love this. I can smell the cake, and it has like a little bit of pink in the bottom. And I can smell the lemon, but it's not like a uh, candy lemon or cleaner lemon. I mean, it's more like a candy lemon. It's delish. <coughs> then we have Cider Lane which is smelled cider, cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. So it's the dupe for Bath & Body Works Cider Lane. No, it's not. It's more cinnamony. She is very heavy-handed on the cinnamon <laughs> in the oil. And this has, like, some glitter on there. But it's really yummy. I like it. I like it a lot. But it's more cinnamony than I'm used to. So a different change in Cider Lane. Then we have Summit Caldera, which is mint leaves and fresh green soil. Or fresh garden soil. And this legit smells like dirt from the ground and mint. I love this. And it's not mint like peppermint. It's mint like a mint leaf. I really like this a lot. Really like this. Really minty. Really soily. Really dirty. Really nice. And then the last one. The label got a little messed up. But it is Take Me to Tuscany. Which is tomato leaf and basil. This is cool. This is very like... <laughs> It smells like, it does not smell like spaghetti sauce, but it smells like everything you would put in tomato sauce, but I'm going to get this out. It's like melting on my fingers. Hold on. You might just have to break them in the mold. Oh no, here they go. They're coming. They were also like super cold, but yeah, here we go. So... Yeah, I mean, I can definitely pick up on the basil. If you don't like herbaceous scents, if you don't like fresh scents, you are not going to like this. This is super fresh, super basil-y, super tomato-y. So those are the clamshells. And then I got four of her Holly Jolly bags, I believe they're called. So this one is Peppermint Fluff. And every one comes with a candy cane, a gingerbread man, and a little snowman. So it looks like this. I love this. This is super fluffy marshmallow and super pepperminty, like equal parts both. And I really think that's cool. It's not focusing on me. Here we go. Yeah, I like this. I like this. It's definitely um, strong on both. And you can tell her wax is soy because it's like sticking to the bag. So that's fine. 
Then we got Lavender Soda, which I'm really excited about this one. And each one of these, I'm sure I can cut into like three melts. So this is like nine melts per bag. Looks like this. This is cool. This is bubbly lavender, and you would never think to blend bubbles and lavender together. She did, and she did a freaking great job at it. It smells really good. I like it. I like the bubbles of the lavender. It's really cool. And it's almost like the lemon lime soda because it definitely smells lemony. And I like that her wax you don't have to cure either. Then we have strawberry fluff. And can we talk about how freaking cute this, um, this like tie dyed looking um, candy cane is? I love this. It does not smell like the same fluff that's in peppermint fluff, though. Peppermint fluff is more marshmallowy. This is more of a cream strawberry. This smells exactly like anybody's strawberry, though. It smells like that really, really rich, creamy strawberry. And sorry if I'm going kind of quick, I have a sampler to go to, too. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get all these. And then this last one is my favorite. It is ro roasted, roasted cotton candy. So it's marshmallow fireside and cotton candy. Now I was thinking, I'm like, how is this going to smell? Like marshmallow fireside and cotton candy. Crazy how they both blend together like that. My hair is like... A hot mess today but yes it smells just like that equal parts of marshmallow fireside and equal parts of cotton candy i am loving that loving that loving that loving that okay. so then we have a sampler and this is the zucchini sampler um let me actually focus this and then focus back on me so I know for sure Liz probably did not get this sampler because I know she does not like zucchini bread. So it would just make sense that she wouldn't get it. So I'm going to do her justice and film and review this sampler. So the first one is Fruit Loops Zucchini Bread. And I put the label on the front of the scent shot because I figured, well, where else would I put it? So this has some little uh, beads on there. And to me... This you can definitely pick up on the zucchini bread. That's for sure. And then as you smell it, you can get the cereal note. But it smells like the oil where it's the cereal crumbs on the bottom of the bag. It does not smell like just straight Fruit Loops. It smells like the crumbs at the bottom. And zucchini bread. I like that a lot. Then we have cherry zucchini bread. And these next two I'm going to talk about I don't like. And this is just a plain scent shot. This, oh, it's very cherry. I barely even get any zucchini bread. It smells like a Hall's cough drop. Oh, it is so strong. It is so strong, guys. That's all I can smell with that one. Then we have cranberry zucchini bread. And this one is like really cool swirled colors. It smells like pistachio, and I don't know why. It does not smell like cranberries to me, because her cranberry ginger ale doesn't smell like this. Like, it doesn't have that same note. And I don't smell the zucchini bread either. I just smell pistachio. So I'm not really sure what this is or what I'm missing from it. So that is cranberry zucchini bread. I don't know. To me, it just smells like pistachio. Then we have birthday cake zucchini bread. I really like this. This has some little sprinkles on the top. I can smell the birthday cake more than zucchini. But as you continue to smell it, you get zucchini, but it's more creamy than spicy. I'm sure this is the same zucchini oil that she used in all of these. She just blended it with something else. But yeah, I definitely, definitely like that one. It's a creamy birthday cake. <clears throat> then we have brown sugar, which is brown sugar ice cream zucchini bread. And this one has some chocolatey sprinkles on it as I drop it. I, I don't smell zucchini bread in this at all. It's almost like zucchini is taking a back seat in a lot of these, which is fine. But I'm sure when you melt them, it'll come out. I just smell like a sweet brown sugar. 
And it's like so calm. Just the sweet brown sugar. But yeah, it just smells like sweet brown sugar to me. Nothing wrong with that. I like that. I quite like that. Let's read more. Strawberry marshmallow zucchini bread. I also don't know what happened to the label on that one. Um, it's just a plain light pink. And then it has white on the bottom. I like this. It smells like my strawberry marshmallow. It smells like the strawberry fluff. But it is dominant with... Um, not dominant. It is equal with the zucchini bread. I can definitely smell zucchini bread. How many times am I going to say zucchini bread in this video? Only two more because I only have two more left. Vanilla frosted gingerbread zucchini. And this guy is super cute. He has a little gingerbread man on there. He's all glittery and all pretty. I smell gingerbread and zucchini bread. For sure. And I guess the vanilla is going to make it a little less spicy. But it's, it's good. It's yummy. It's definitely yummy. I like that. Mm. It's very pleasant. And then last but not least is a bonus scent, which is zucchini bread cheesecake. Which looks like this. It just has like some swirling around there. I like this. It smells very creamy. And I know a lot of people say sometimes vendor wax zucchini or um, cheesecake can smell sour this does not smell sour this does not smell i don't know if i'd say it smells like cheesecake but it smells sweet i enjoy it it's definitely not sour it's definitely yummy so anyway that was my posh olive sorry i don't mean to sound negative there's just some sense that i just they weren't for me um, but like I said, it does not mean I will not melt them and try them because you never know what it's going to be like in your warmer when you melt them. So anyway, that was my posh olive. Thank you for the freebies. Um, Margaret, I'm really excited to start melting these. I'm going out to dinner now, but I think when I get home, I might pop in. I'm actually going to an Italian restaurant and I might pop in, take me to Tuscany when I get home because I love the way that smells. It smells really fresh. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Bye.